Welcome to Strength Side. Today we're going to talk a little bit about shoulder impingement and how we can get these shoulders to move a little bit more um, efficient and, and keep them healthy. Okay. So um, one thing that you know I see time and time again is when people are pressing overhead, which is a great thing to do um, for shoulders. Um, what's really getting you this range of motion is not your shoulder, but it's actually your spine overextending to get your arm up above your head, okay? So, we get here and then we do the rest of the motion by letting that rib cage flare up and getting here. Now, this is going to create um, some imbalance in the shoulder and a lot of the time, if you see people that do this a lot, start getting shoulder pain you're starting to feel some type of impingement there and things just aren't going your way, right? So here's just a quick little drill that we can do to really work on um, getting this shoulder to move in this range of motion under control at the trunk, torso, uh, spine area, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in a half kneeling position, okay? And now from here, what I want you to do is physically take this other hand I want you to put it kind of on your sternum, top of the ab region here, and you're going to make sure that this stays closed down, okay? So we're gonna keep this closed down by really engaging the abs here. And now from here, we're just gonna press up overhead, okay? Boom, we're doing our normal press, right? Boom, right here. Now from here, obviously what we can do is we can add in a light dumbbell, boom, so we're here, everything is good. I'm making sure that these ribs are down and now I'm pressing up. And your shoulder should feel like it's working the way it's supposed to work, okay? Let me show you a little side view here. Now the reason that we're doing this in a half kneeling position is because this is gonna, this is gonna allow you to set your pelvis um, a little bit easier, right? Than if you were standing up um, because you don't have to support your whole body weight here. Now. You know, you can have more control of really staying braced, keeping this rib cage down, keeping my chin tucked forward, and now my arm can move in this range of motion as it's supposed to. Feels like the right muscles are working to do this. Um, and you can also push the weight on this a little bit too, right? Start with something light, but then you can work up to doing going heavier and heavier. This will really help you if you're doing barbell overhead presses or whatever it is, especially if you have the tendency to get overextended in that top position. All right, guys, that's the video. Let me know if you have any questions on that. Um, see you in the next one.